John 10.4 When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. Jesus, addressing his disciples, illustrated his relationship with them using the analogy of a shepherd and his sheep. He emphasized, The sheep listen to this shepherd's voice, affirming that he intimately knows and guides each one by name. John 10.3 Amidst a landscape of conflicting voices vying for authority, Jesus reassured his followers that his loving voice would always ring out, distinct and clear above all others. He continued teaching that his sheep inherently recognize and follow his voice, differentiating it from all others. V4. Let us approach with attentiveness as we listen for Jesus' voice, avoiding the unwise dismissal of it. In doing so, we hold on to the vital truth. The shepherd's voice resounds unequivocally, and his sheep unmistakably perceive it. Whether through a scripture verse, the counsel of a faithful friend, or the prompting of the Spirit, Jesus speaks, and we do indeed hear. In today's world, discerning the shepherd's voice amidst numerous distractions and competing priorities can be challenging. Addressing the complexities of modern living, our thoughts, actions, careers, families, and various commitments often vie for precedence. In my own journey, I've encountered the need to reprioritize and make significant adjustments to ensure that God holds the primary place in my life. This has entailed reevaluating my priorities and making deliberate changes to honor God as my foremost commitment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Mark 12.30 This verse from the book of Mark encapsulates an essential teaching from Jesus, emphasizing the totality of one's devotion to God. By loving God with all aspects of our being, heart, soul, mind, and strength, we are called to center our lives around this love and commitment. It serves as a foundational principle for Christian faith, highlighting the importance of fully directing our thoughts, emotions, and actions toward our relationship with God. This verse invites us to reflect on how we can live out this commandment of love in our daily lives. At times, we find ourselves struggling to perceive God's presence and we might be tempted to rely solely on our own abilities or to view God as a source of immediate assistance. However, in order to truly discern God's voice in our lives, it's imperative to align our priorities and wholeheartedly devote ourselves to loving Him and putting Him first. Let's take the opportunity to assess our lives today, identifying the areas that require prioritization so that we may actively live out the calling placed upon us as God's people. Let's pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you and thank you for sending Christ Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. I recognize that there are areas in my life that do not reflect your glory. Please reveal those areas to me and give me the strength to overcome them, making you the priority and focus of my life. Work on my heart so that I may see and correct the things that need to align with your will. I am grateful that you are a God of forgiveness, grace, and mercy. Please grant me the strength and bring the right people into my life to help me become the person you want me to be. I acknowledge that you are in control of my life, and I yield myself to your guidance. Thank you for being the author and finisher of my faith. I commit to seeking you with reverence and humility, so that I may know you more deeply. I pray all of this in Jesus' name, amen.